Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. This video deals with Andrey Rublev and his racket. He's ranked 6 in the world, 25 years of age at the moment. Andrey is a great ball striker. He used to use the Wilson 6195 for a long time. Then he switched over to the Head Gravity Pro and I've been getting a lot of questions. What are his specs, swing weight, balance and everything like that. And thanks to Alexei Goldbergs who actually owns one of Rublev's rackets we can check his specs today. So let's have a look, starting with the weight. These videos are from Alexei, so Spaziba to Alexei. Can't really tell the weight from the angle, but I have them also on paper. It's 363.73 grams. He measured the strong stiffness on the Bubbler RDC machine. Stiffness is not that easy to measure. I don't have a machine to do that myself. So it's great that he could do this. And it actually coincides well with what is the standard stiffness for the Gravity Pros. He measured it at 61 RA. This is strong, so usually unstrung, it's three points higher around 64, which is kind of what the Gravity Pro is around. It's also differing sometimes between rackets. Then he tested the swing weight. Strong, obviously, here with Luxlon Adrenaline. It's 337. Pretty human swing weight for a pro player. Then he also checked the balance. And that's also something I could have guessed because of the 6195 balance. It's 31 centimeters. So quite headlight of a racket. And you can see the specs here on this sheet. And you can have a look at a few pictures of... Andre's beautiful blacked out racket. Now he's obviously playing them with a paint job, but uh, now these were the original ones that he received from Head when he was testing the rackets. It's strong with Luxon Adrenaline at 26 in the mains and 25 kilos in the crosses. As far as I know, he hasn't changed string, uh, but maybe Head would like him to play with head strings, obviously. So these types of specs are pretty much in line what you would expect when you're switching from the Wilson 6195. We have seen similar specs with guys like Denis Shapovalov also switched from the 6195 to the Onyx V-Core and Daniil Medvedev who's now with Technifiber. So it kind of aligns that they would like a heavier static weight, no crazy swing weight, pretty much a manageable swing weight also for advanced players and a pretty low balance. So they haven't made any drastic changes to the specs of their racket, but they got in a little bit of a different feel, sweet spot and so on. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please support Tennis Nerd by subscribing, liking, sharing, telling your tennis friends about it. And also by checking out TennisNerd.net. We have a racket course, coaching app and a bunch of other stuff trying to make this thing work. So thanks to all of you who support and especially big thanks to our patrons on patreon.com slash tennister. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.